Hi, I'm Paolo and in this video, I'll show you how easy it is to create an email sequence on Mailing Boss. Before we proceed, intro. Welcome back. This is the Builderall back office. Builderall is an all-in-one digital marketing platform that anybody can use even without learning any programming or technical skills. With Builderall, you can make websites, sales funnels, you can use it for email marketing, e-commerce, chatbots, which is a very, very powerful lead generation tool. You can also make online courses on it and many more. It even has a CRM and yes, you can also build WordPress websites on it. Also, it has an SEO reporting tool, which is this one. And just to confirm, websites made in Builderall do rank in Google. If you want to learn more, I'll put a link on the I'll put the uh, link on the description of this video. Let's jump right in to Mailing Boss. Click on Mailing Boss. Click on Enter. So in this video, I'll show you how to create an email sequence. So the pattern will be like this. You would have a website or sales funnel you will also have from the website or sales funnel when a lead goes into your sales funnel or your website when they register they, their names and emails those will go to an email list and then the email sequence email sequence these are the emails that will be sent to that specific list so let me put this here so website sales funnel a lead enters their name and email and that will go to a list on mailing boss on mailing boss and that list those emails by the leads or customers email sequences or emails will be sent to them and this is also from mailing boss of course okay so again you have a website or sales funnel You'll be asking for the, that web specific website or sales funnel. will be asking for the name and email of the lead who visited the website or sales funnel. That name and email will go to a list in Mailing Boss. And then those emails on that specific list in Mailing Boss will be sent emails or email swipes, which is actually your email sequence okay so let's jump into mailing boss which is this one now I have already created the list for this one uh, which is demo 20 it has one subscriber what I want to do now is create an email sequence okay so I have a bunch of email lists so what I want to do right now is create an email sequence for this one meaning for this list all the subscribers on this list they will be sent an email sequence and we'll go ahead and connect that now to create an email sequence we go to campaigns 
click on email sequence from here we create a new one I'm gonna name this demo 20 just like the name of the email list from the list demo 20 save and edit sequence emails and if you're hearing the dogs sorry about that I'm actually in Bali right now but anyway so going back so now we have created an email sequence for that specific email list so this email sequence will be sent to that demo 20 uh, email list so any emails listed or any emails inside the email list demo 20 they will be sent the email sequences on this campaign okay so from here zero day meaning click on this one autoresponder time value zero you don't touch anything unless you prefer to but I wouldn't all I would touch is this for the first email sent to future subscribers only remember that on the second email onwards it should be sent to current and future subscribers so anytime you add an email, the sequences or the succeeding email sequences on the next coming days will automatically be sent to them. If you configure the second email onwards to send to future subscribers only, it will not be sent. So again, it should be sent to current and future subscribers for the second email onwards. Alright, but for this one, we're working on the first or welcome message. We'll have uh, we'll set this up to it should be set that should be set to sent to future subscribers only. Click on that. Or respond your time value. This is the day you want the email sent. If it's zero, an email will immediately be sent to a lead that was added to the list or to the list for this email sequence. Again, zero meaning immediate sent immediately okay so save changes okay from here you can already edit this what I usually do it would refresh just let it be so from here what I would do campaign name what this is how I set it up day zero meaning I want this email sent immediately to the lead that was added to this specific email list which was for this one demo 20 okay and then dash and then what I would put here is number one meaning this is the first email that will be sent to all the leads on this specific list again we're working on the demo 20 list now for the subject welcome message I don't change that at all from here just double click on it you can change everything already all right you can customize everything even put a link on it which is this one see all right so from here you can just type welcome to the Paulo Santana and so on okay all right it became small because I, I didn't type much but then again of course it would appear as a as a uh, as a standard email once they receive it okay now so from here once you're done with the email just click on the check mark there so from here you have all the tools you need for the email you have a template also for this one let's say for example I want an image what I do is just it's just drag and drop drag and then drop it here wherever you want it that's it and from here you have the option to you can change the image just click on it left click insert the image link here all right or for this one you just click here or edit image rather if you want to change the image just click on edit image from there 
it will show you options on adding the image okay if you want to put a link on that to that image insert image link here so yes YouTube these are links to my YouTube channel because I on my email list if you're part of my mailing list you'll be sent my YouTube videos so there so once you're done with the content of your email you don't have to click on done what I would do is click on activate now for activate just to show you I click on it it will refresh it will says uh, if you see here it will say pause meaning this email is already active so whenever you add a list an email to this uh, to the specific list for this campaign this zero day email or the first email will immediately be sent to that subscriber okay if you are going to make changes on the email be sure to pause it so click pause it will refresh again from there you can edit the email you will want to post it uh, to pause it rather because you don't want uh, the email getting sent to the subscriber uh, to screw up while you're editing the content okay so if you, you want to change anything pause the email once you're done activate it again all right now so to add another email to the sequence just click on the add email here on top All right from there you see here sequence message this is the new email that you're working on so from here what I do is so I have the welcome message day zero I want another email sent the following day so click on the zero days here change it so the second email onwards you change it to send to current and future subscribers and autoresponder time value one because I want it sent one after one day okay click on save changes it will refresh and from here you will see one day already and on the campaign what I would do is change this to number one and because this is uh, just to be uh, uh, to be in lieu on what email is being sent here and this is the second email okay so one dash two meaning this email will be sent after one day and this is the second email for this sequence and then from here you can just change uh, the content to your preference or whatever content is let's say for example see subject sequence message how to blah 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 or, or what I would do normally on the second email free if you learned anything from this video give it a like and if you think this would help other people please do share it and if you want to learn more just subscribe and click on the bell beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload a new video if you have any questions, just comment below or message me on my Facebook page and I'll either answer it for you or even make a video out of it so we can share the knowledge to everybody. Just like that, this video is over and I'll see you on the next one. Let's go!